Now here's an important point. Nothing works the first time. When you try something new, it probably won't work. When you try something new several times, it probably won't work. Nothing works, at least the first few times. You know, every time you lose at something, you're one step closer to winning the next time. The difference between successful people and not successful people, okay. let's call it that sure. way, are people give up. People wake up every morning, they have doubt, they have fear, they lose in a race, and then they just give up. The, the, the hardest thing in life to learn is to lose. Winning's easy. You win, you're happy, you get a high five, your friends are happy. It's your ability to take a loss, get up the next day, dust yourself off, and keep going. Do you have the guts to fail? Focus on one thing, one area. Put all of your energy into watering one area. If you spread the water across many, many seeds, you don't have as much water for one seed. Focus on one thing. Make it your priority and stick with it no matter what. Because there comes a time in your life where you've worked and you've stressed and you tried to get there and you couldn't on your own, but you have a dream. And that dream has to take on the belief for you because you can't do it by yourself. So what I would tell you is this, don't stop. Narrow your focus to one idea, one, and make it work. That will give birth to all the others. בקפוצ'ינו, וארבעה משקיעים מקורית שעליו רכיב ההמשך. התערובת שלי היא מאה אחוז ארביקה. במיוחד עבורכם בחרתי את החולים אשר יצאו את האספסו המושלם. הזן הראשון שבחרתי הוא מברזיל. ברזיל יצרנית, ויצרנית הקפה הגדולה בעולם זה כמעט שנה. תתן את הכבוד לפתוח את הרשימה. הזן הוא סנטוס, בעל תא מאוזן, עדין, ומשתלב היטב עם שאר הקטנים של השם. It was as close to the feeling of flying as I have ever had. The experience of that obsessive focus of having an idea and actually being able to photograph it. That's been the magic potion for me ever since. There are no shortcuts. You've got to put them up. I think the first uh, big 
there are absolutely no shortcuts. It takes time, and it takes a lot of hard work. You have to study, and you have to get good grades. But you certainly should have a good time as well, because that's part of your growing up experience, and there's no point in leading life to suffer all the time. You want to enjoy life as well as the next person. Uh, so it's some balance, some blend between the two. But at some point, you're going to need to find your natural voice and find a way to give voice. You are you. And because of that, you do have every bone in your body is an original bone. since I was um, in my late teens, early 20s, hey. and I just never got around to it. I finally started realizing as I was getting older by, you know, my early 40s that I better really do it. It's either now or, or I'm never gonna do it. We are here, and, and as you struggle to, to make your dreams happen, to live the impossible, we're thinking of you tonight. I think some people, and maybe I used to think once you got successful, you could, ah, you're successful, and it, okay, now you can kind of just relax a little bit, and, but that's not the case at all. You have to pedal even harder. You have to work even more. Um, there are more opportunities that need more uh, time and dedication, uh, and in order to do them well, you have to uh, really, really uh, hunker down and do the hard work. But I've never been afraid of hard work, and I always tell people when I'm asked, and it's pretty often that I'm asked about uh, dreams and achieving uh, creative goals, uh, that I, I always believe that the, the bridge between reality and a dream is work. Um, and I always, in moments of despair and doubt and dark days, uh, focus on, on the work. I show up and I work and I work. That thirst or that drive to just achieve what I believe is something as good as, you know, those heroes that I have is what continues to make me want to, uh, want to do this. The only thing that you can control that influences success in life is how hard you work, how honest you are, and how well you deal with others. You can control those variables. When you have a dream, and the dream isn't something you dream and then it happens, the dream is something you never knew was going to come into your life. Dreams always come from behind you, not, not right between your eyes, it sneaks up on you. But when you have a dream, it doesn't often come at you screaming in your face, this is who you are, this is what you must be for the rest of your life. Sometimes a dream almost whispers. And I've always said to my kids, the hardest thing to listen to, your instincts, your human personal intuition, always whispers, it never shouts. Very hard to hear. So you have to, every day of your lives, be ready to hear what whispers in your ear, it very rarely shouts. And if you can listen to the whisper, and if it tickles your heart, and it's something you think you want to do for the rest of your life, 
then that is going to be what you do for the rest of your life, and we will benefit from everything you do. I think there's any magic in being successful. And I'm not talking about making a million dollars or a billion dollars. I'm just talking about being successful. I'm talking about being successful in what you guys do at work. I don't think there's any magic. You gotta work hard. Yeah. You gotta respect the people around you. And you just gotta go. I've never met a successful person that doesn't work hard.